What's up everyone and welcome to the club. In today's video, we'll be drawing Smurfette from the Smurfs. Let's begin today's lesson in the center of the page and draw an oval for the nose, but leaving a gap along the bottom. So we'll start on the bottom left side, go all the way around toward the top, come down the right side, and then just bend that in. Now I'm going to tuck the eyes in behind the nose. Let's start by drawing an oval along the left side. So we'll start right in the middle, go up, round out the eye, come down the side, and then back in. Let's do the same thing on the right. So we're going to start in the middle, going up towards the same height, come all the way around, and then bend that in towards the side. Now I'm going to draw two large circles along the inside. So starting from the center, let's step out, go all the way around, and then just tuck that in, and do the same thing on the right. Let's trace this circle along the inside, going all the way around, and then in. Let's add a small highlight circle on the top left side of each pupil. And we'll fill the bottom of the pupils in black. Let's shift the mouth over towards the left side. So we start underneath the eye, curl this down, and then bend that in towards the center. Let's go back to the left side, curl the bottom of the mouth, coming down. I'm just gonna tuck that up on the bottom, leaving a little overlap on the right. Let's add a curve along the top for the teeth. From the center, bend the tongue coming out and then down, and then fill the right side in black. I also want to add a bracket along the corner of the mouth. Now I'm going to go back to the side of the eyes and add the lashes. Let's start on the left, coming down and up. Line that up on the right side. And we're going to add two more, so starting along the bottom. And we'll add one going up along the top. And now we're going to move out to the side and draw the lower half of the head. Let's line up at the top of the eye over on the left curve the head point around the cheek. Now we want to bend that in underneath the mouth. Go all the way across towards the right. And we'll bend that back in towards the same height. Let's draw the front edge of the hair. Starting over the left, bend this down, go up, and curve this out past the side of the head. Let's add some lashes. Along the top of the right eye, bend this up, and then down, and then on the left, we'll just tuck this up underneath the hair. Let's go back to the top left side. I'm gonna draw the top edge of the hair. I'm gonna go up, I'm gonna go across. I'm just gonna round up the right side, and then just tuck this back in towards the side of the head. Now we're gonna come back to the hair and the hat after we've drawn in the body. Let's start right in the middle with the collar with a half circle coming down. From the side of the collar, let's step out, draw the body, coming down, and then bend that out towards the bottom of the dress on the left, go to the right, come down, and then out. Let's draw three curves along the bottom of the dress. We're going to start from the bottom, on the left, coming in, do the same thing on the right, and we'll close off the center. Now I'm going to go back up to the top and draw on the arms. From the top of the body, let's step down, draw a straight angle line, coming down and out towards the wrist, and we'll line that up on the right side. From the wrist, draw a half circle coming in and out for the thumb, close off the end with a bracket. Now we want to add three fingers on either side. Let's start from the bottom of the thumb, we're going to come down and bend that up around the bracket. On the side, bend the second finger going out and in, and then the third finger going all the way around, and then bend that in towards the outside of the wrist. Let's do the same thing on the right. Going all the way around, the second finger, and then the third coming in towards the wrist. Now from the wrist, we're going to draw a straight angle line going up towards the top of the body.
Let's move back to the center, leaving a gap in the middle. Go to the left side, draw a straight line coming down towards the left heel. Go to the right, draw another straight line. And from the ankle, curl this in and then back out towards the bottom of the heel. Run out the heel and pull that up. And then bend the foot coming down and then out on both sides. Let's round out the tip of the foot and then bend that back in towards the outside of the ankle. Now from the ankle, draw a straight line going up underneath the dress. Let's separate the edge of the shoe, starting on the left side, bend this down. I'm just going to pull that up towards the inside of the ankle and do the same thing on the right. Now we're going to go back up to the top and finish off the hair. Let's start on the left side from this point, curve the hair going around, come down and just bend that in behind the arm. Now we want to continue along the inside towards the body. Let's go over towards the right side underneath this curve, come around and then bend that in, bend that back out. Now you want to curl the hair back in. So we step up, curl up around. I just want to tuck this in behind the hand. Let's continue along the inside, aiming towards this point. I'm also going to add a fold along the inside, starting from the cheek, then it's in and down. Now I'm going to go back and place the hat on top of the head. Let's start over on the left side, add a fold, going up and then in. From the bottom of the hat, let's step up. I'm just going to bend this up towards the top of the hat and then across towards the top. Let's round this out. Now I'm just going to pull this back towards the left side. Let's close off the right side of the hat and we'll sign our art and add a splash of color. And that's pretty much it. That's how we draw Smurfette from the Smurfs. If you enjoyed today's tutorial, then please give this video a like and share it with all your friends. And if you want to keep drawing with me, then click on this video over here. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you again soon.